So as some of you may know, I'm currently completing my bachelor's in data science at the University of Toledo. However, that wasn't always my major. I started off in 2020 as a computer science major and switched in my junior year. So I decided to make a video to go through my journey and explain my thought process at the time when I was switching majors. and Also my thoughts now reflecting back uh, after almost two years. First, I want to get into my background and uh, talk a bit more about why I chose computer science in the first place. So I started my programming journey back in high school when I was about 15 or 16. I was really into video games and also web development, so I decided I wanted to learn how to code, and Python seemed like a very good language to learn at the time. I immediately grew an appreciation for the art of programming, and this is when I first knew what I wanted to do in college, and I knew it had to involve programming. At this point, I developed my programming skills to such a point where I was familiar with all the basic and foundational concepts like uh, object-oriented programming and I also built a couple websites with HTML and JavaScript. I remember at the time I was really into web scraping and automation with Python so I decided to buy a couple books and spend my free time learning that topic and diving into that field a little more. As you can imagine my passion grew and I was very persistent in pursuing a career uh, in the field of programming so I looked for the best route and at the time computer science uh, undergrad was probably the best route for me so that's what I decided to start in. I was taking a bunch of computer science classes involving some discrete mathematics, data structures, and algorithms and I was enjoying that part of my education a lot. However, because my major was an engineering major, uh, I found myself not quite enjoying a couple of my classes and I also thought at the time that they wouldn't be beneficial to the career I wanted to end up in. Part of this was because of a co-op program my school had enforced, which required me to take three co-ops before graduating. By the way, a co-op is practically just another term for internships or also apprenticeships. Essentially, with the rules and regulations of the co-op program and the lack of flexibility, I wasn't able to graduate on my intended graduation date, which was by the end of 2023. Part of this was due to some miscommunication between myself and a couple of course advisors from the engineering department. And uh, the other part was because I'm an international student and that by nature has its own restrictions too. So as you can imagine, this was a massive pivot point in my career. Uh, I was in my junior year and I knew something needed to change because I wasn't happy with the end result of what I was doing right now. I still had a passion for programming and also efficient problem solving, so I wanted to ensure that that part remained in my future. So I did what most people would do in my shoes and I did some research on the market and what career paths were blooming at the time and also utilized skills that I was comfortable with and I came across the field of data science. At the time, data science did seem to be very intimidating and also appeared to be heavily influenced by the fields of mathematics and statistics. Mind you, I do really enjoy math and I had a very good relationship with mathematics my whole life. However, I didn't want a math-focused career like finance or accounting, so I decided to do more research so that I can test the waters before committing to the field entirely, and I came across the Google Data Analytics Professional Certification. So I decided to enroll and complete the course as soon as possible, and I ended up getting a very high-level overview on the field of data, which was uh, comfortable enough for me to make a decision on whether I should commit my future to this field. I was already familiar with most of the statistical and mathematical components of the field because it came with my previous major. On top of that, I was also pretty versed with some high-level programming concepts, so I was pretty Pretty comfortable with that too. I did have to get used to a different style of programming involving notebooks and a lot of visualizations. I also picked up a couple of new languages like R and SQL through that certification. At this point I was confident that this major would be a good fit so I decided to make the switch. This was still a very difficult decision to make because I was essentially cutting off all the resources that I would get from the engineering department especially when it comes to landing a job or an internship. However I did have faith in myself. I knew I just had to invest a little bit more time and effort to make my goals attainable. I also didn't want to discard my computer science credits altogether so I decided to keep that as as a minor. Fast forward to the present day where I'm in my final semester with a full-time job in the field of data. Looking back now, I'm extremely happy that I managed to land where I am. I'm also extremely grateful for all the roadblocks that came across my path throughout my journey. I do believe that the three mandatory co-ops I mentioned before was intended to help students land a full-time job post-graduation, but I do think it's very rigid and not flexible or inclusive enough for international students. I personally believe that not everyone needs three plus internships to land a full-time job after graduation, especially if it means extending your graduation date by a year or two. However, I do think it's important to know that some students might need or want this structured program and also might stick it out longer to extend their chance of landing their dream job. In an ideal world, I would love to see a more flexible program that allows students to have more initiative in their education. Now, that being said, I've personally seen many students who made the switch just like myself and are happy with the end results. I also do get questions asking what I would do if I were to start all over again with all this information. Well, to put it simple, I do believe a CS degree in this day and age is still more valuable. The data science field is still pretty fresh and young, so the formal education you get might not just be as pristine as a CS degree. If I was 18 and enrolling again, I'd probably look for a school with a flexible computer science degree and had good courses in machine learning and AI. I would definitely want to still work in the data field because I believe it fits my personality the best. I am a very data-driven person and I do want to start my own business someday. I think the career choice I've made definitely will help on that journey. 
if I did have the patience, tolerance, and finances, I'd look at getting a higher education in the field of data science uh, through some statistics or computer science master's or PhD. As you might know, most data science positions require higher education. I would definitely also consider taking a business or economics minor. I do believe my computer science minor is valuable. However, I think a business or econ minor could definitely provide you with more domain knowledge, which is super helpful in my field. Lastly, I would definitely look at securing an internship super early on, maybe in my freshman or early sophomore year. Preferably, these internships would be at startups so that I can maximize my education, gain more experience, and wear more hats. I also think it's worth mentioning that securing a job independently without the help of a career advisor or going to any career fairs is super rewarding and also gives you a lot of skills that you can utilize in the future when you don't have that resources anymore. It definitely taught me a lot throughout my journey and also gave me a lot of discipline and skills that I could use in the future. My journey personally has provided me with a lot of essential skills and discipline that I would not have otherwise. Anyway, I know this video is kind of short, but I hope it still brought you guys some kind of value. Hopefully, if you're in a similar spot, you're able to make a more informed decision and figure out what's best for you. I would also love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.